Hey guys, what's up? It's Caitlin. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be talking about the five brands that I want to try in 2021. I actually did this last year and I recently rewatched it and I tried three out of the five brands, which I feel like is like not great, but also not horrible. So hopefully we can kind of shoot for three or more for 2021. So let's dive into the first brand, which is M Cosmetics, owned by Michelle Fawn. I have wanted to try this brand for quite some time. Her stuff looks really beautiful. I know when she first started her brand, she had like those eyeshadow palettes that were like can't remember if the eyeshadows were like different sizes or they were kind of like jumbled on the eyeshadow palette. I wasn't a huge fan of that layout, uh, but I don't know. Just like lately I've been dying to try specifically those blushes, like those cream blushes that are called a color drop serum blush. I just, the packaging looks so beautiful. The colors look so beautiful. And I just really want to really applaud Michelle for like her branding and stuff like that. I'm a graphic designer and I feel like this this website's really clean, uh, really classic, easy to use, and I just really can appreciate that. So specifically, I threw a couple of items in my cart, and I have the rose milk color. That color looks absolutely stunning. And then I also have the peachy peach, which probably that would be the one that I would buy. They're $25 each, which is expensive. I love peach blushes, like they're my kryptonite. And I just... I feel like I want to get more into like cream products this year because I really wasn't um, into them much in 2020. I also added the Daydream Cushion to my cart. Now they only have a couple of shades. How many shades do they have? They only have six shades, which seems like it, you know, it's 2021, it seems kind of ridiculous, but it is like a cushion foundation. I never tried a cushion foundation and this year it is my goal to find a new um, like holy grail foundation or at least one that I really, really like. Usually you can have like fewer shades when it comes to more lighter coverage things. So I'm kind of thinking that this is that. The last thing that interests me on their website is their lip cushion tinted lip luminizer. Uh, that's a, that's a name in itself. I feel like a lot of these shades I would really enjoy, but I specifically love the magic hour shade and the Venetian rose shade. That looks really stunning. That is right up my alley. The next brand that I want to try is actually a skincare brand. This is another brand that has been on my radar for a really long time, and I can't believe I haven't tried it. Uh, but Paula's Choice. If you have seen my newest kind of like series, it's going to be a pretty chill series. Uh, but I started like a skincare journey series on my channel. I can leave that video down below. But I'm getting more into skincare, and I'm trying to take you guys along the journey with me, so it keeps me on track and keeps me in check because uh, I'm really bad at keeping up with my skincare. So I want to have some new products every time I do one of the updated videos and I have not done enough research to tell you exactly what I'm buying but I threw a couple things in my cart. I added the Skin Recovery Replenishing Moisturizer. This year I really want to try to find a good moisturizer. That is my goal. I've never had a moisturizer that I love so that's super important to me. I also added a Resist Advanced Replenishing Toner. I I feel like I've used toners in the past, but I don't have one in my um, skincare routine right now. And I'll be honest, I don't even, I think, doesn't the toner like um, rebalance your pH level? I don't even know what it does. I don't even know. I, this is like, this is why I'm doing this series because I'm just like, I don't know anything and I need to know more, I need to take care of my skin. I also added a super hydrate overnight mask. I'm not big on overnight things because they tend to be really heavy on the skin, uh, but your girl has really dry skin, so I would definitely be open to trying something like that. I wonder if Paula's Choice, do they do like regular sales or something like that? Because some of these products are super expensive, uh, so we'll have to see. I also added a hydrating cleanser and a normalizing cleanser, which the normalizing pore one might be a little too much for what I need. I don't really tend to break out that often. Um, Thank you, uh, but I've heard really good things about that one. The next brand is a black owned brand and it's definitely been something on my radar. I think it's really important to support black owned brands. One of them on my list that I wanna try and have a bunch, but I just picked out 
you know, a couple to share with you guys is Clarity Cosmetics and their single eyeshadows, you guys, look insane. And I haven't bought a single eyeshadow in a while and I kind of miss it and I kind of want to get back into singles because in 2020 it was like all about palettes for me. Like I was all about the palettes and I reached for my singles today and it made me so happy and I just feel like I don't have that many in my collection so I definitely want to expand it in 2021 and I think this is going to be the first brand that I buy some from. Uh, just to name a few, like I'm just looking through their singles. Armadillo is this beautiful like army foresty green. Living for that. The color Bluebell looks really pretty. Also very intense. Bora Bora. I don't know. I'm feeling the blues lately. Oh my gosh. Carnival. Are you kidding? That looks stunning. That looks like a duo chrome. That looks beautiful. Check Please is also really stunning. Ooh, Cupcake Pinata. What a name. I love these names. That's so fun. Um, there's so many colors. Like, I feel so excited. Maybe I'll have to place this order soon, and maybe I could do, like, a shop with me video or something like that. That might be kind of fun. They also have some glosses that look really nice, and they're only $5. Like, that's super affordable. So many great options. I definitely want to try this brand this year. The fourth brand that I want to try in 2021 is Bite Beauty. Again, this is another one brand that I have been kind of like having on my long list of brands I want to try for quite a while. I mean, Bite Beauty is known for their lip products. They have a bunch of other things. And while I was kind of browsing their website, I did notice um, their foundation. It actually looks really intriguing to me. It's called the Change Maker Supercharged my seller foundation and they also so they sell the foundation for $44 and they also sell a like combo thing of their primer and their foundation for $46 for literally $2 more you can get their primer which is a great deal it looks like there's a decent amount of shades I feel like it could maybe be better but it does seem pretty balanced it advertises as light to medium coverage lightweight skin like very much up my alley and also I think the primer has hyaluronic acid in it which uh I am dry skin so that would be amazing looking at the lip products obviously I would try the lip products because bite is known for their lip products the glosses to me like the packaging I'm not a huge fan of just like first impressions looking at it it kind of reminds me of like the like lip smackers or like I don't know something you would buy as like a kid just like in that chunky packaging not a fan of that but also I'm a packaging hoe so you know I'm kind of really judgmental when it comes to packaging I'm looking at the clean lip crayon set uh, to me these all like look too similar is it just me I don't know I'm like slowly talking myself out of this brand. No, I'm just kidding. But that is definitely something I want to try. My ultimate like dream one day is to go to New York to their lab and make my own custom shade. So yep, that is the fourth brand on my list. Let's talk about the final brand. The last brand that I want to try in 2021 is not a makeup brand. It is a nail polish brand. I want to try Light Slacker, uh, which is Kathleen Light's company and their recent launch is the it had to be moon is like really calling my name like I really want that I'm really tempted to buy that at least the which shade is it specifically the blue moon shade the shade is everything it looks so beautiful blue is my favorite color and I love painting my nails blue. I, I don't know. I love painting my nails. It's been more of a thing for me in 2020, even though I don't, every time I paint my nails, my nails always crack and chip and all of that. So that's super annoying. But um, yeah, there's a lot of shades that I'm really interested in. For example, Venus looks really pretty. We'll always have Paris looks really beautiful. Holy crap. Girl power. Oh my god, all of them. I love the gold shades. They're all so, so beautiful. Nebula. Ooh, girl, that one. Also, uh, Mia looks really pretty. I've been looking for a shade like this for a long time. It's kind of like a mauve. Yeah, it's literally a rich mauve with dusty rose undertones. Ugh, that is my jam. I've been looking for something like that for nail polish for a really long time. So that's definitely one shade I would get. But yeah, 
Light Slacker is the last brand that I want to try in 2021. I hope I at least try three out of these five brands this year. That would be awesome. Um, I feel like really tempted to place an order right now. Like I just, I haven't bought anything yet this year. Um, I've been trying to be really good but I am really tempted like I really want to buy something new it's just I got some new things for Christmas so I'm trying to like be like you don't need anything else so we'll see we'll see how long it takes me to actually buy something but thank you guys so much for watching be sure to leave what brands you want to try this year down in the comments I can't wait to hear from you I always love talking with you guys uh, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video bye